Well, you know, yoga is not only a good exercise, but it can be beneficial for your mental health, too. Sure can, and the owner of Yoga Power is inviting one of her members to have a chat on the mat about how it's helping her. Mm -hmm. Hi everybody, I'm Jamie Dickinson, owner here at Yoga Power. This is one of our dear, loyal, faithful members, Miss Ashley Andrews. And she's really been one of our major success stories since we've been open. So I wanted to invite you for a little chat on the mat. Thank so you could tell everybody your story, how you got here, like how you've, like anything that you think the general public would like to know about you know, because our thing is that yoga improves your health. Absolutely. And we're not just really about looking good in a bathing suit, but like mentally and physically how it's helped you. So I started in January of 2020 before everything shut down. Um, I had actually considered it for like about a year and didn't know where I wanted to go, but this was the closest to where I frequent in Charleston. So I came in for a class and after one class I signed up for a membership. Um, when I first came in, I was struggling with weight, I was struggling with my mental health, and I was struggling to get pregnant. So um, I started coming at least once or twice a week, and I gradually upped how many classes I was taking during the week. Um, after COVID shut everything down, there was a little lull, couldn't really do anything, but as soon as the doors opened, I came back. And we reopened in May, mm -hmm. June, and I was pregnant by July of 2020. And we were all so excited. Yes. We call her our little yoga baby. Weren't you getting ready to start IVF? Like, weren't you I was about ready to, start to start fertility medicine, yes. Gosh, look how much money we saved you. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so not only did it work on my stress levels, either from work or home or what have you, life is stressful. Um, I was able to calm down enough before I started those pills, I found out the day before I started the medicine that I was pregnant. So, And I remember huge. the day you told me in class. We were all so excited. Yes. And then you did yoga almost up until the day you delivered. Yes. Uh, I think my last day was the beginning of March and she was born on the 31st. And she's a good baby, so we always say yes. she's a good baby because she you did yoga exactly. with her the whole time. <laughs> I know. So then you started doing bungee. Yes. How long ago? February of 21. And so or since you no, started 22. doing bungee, like, well, I mean, we can see the physical transformation, but just tell us what like how it's helped you or what has happened with it? So with bungee, I actually have a heart condition, so I have to be careful how much cardio I do and how quickly I do it. But in the bungee, I'm able to control how much impacts on my joints, how quickly my heart rate goes up, and I can bring it down if I need to. I have the opportunity to stop. So it's I did learn know that about you. Yes. Well, by golly, you just flip and swap <laughs> around, so you'd never know you had that issue. But how much have you lost weight? I mean, you can tell you've yes. lost a lot of inches, but like, do you feel a whole lot better in your skin? I feel substantially better. Uh, from January of last year to this January, I've lost 20 pounds. Yeah, yeah. so you didn't even look like you had a baby. <laughs> so we are just so happy that, that you're here. And I wanted you to tell your story because I feel like there's other people out there that are struggling with this. I mean, when I did a TV interview, they'd asked me what was like one of my biggest surprises about Omer Studio, and it was the number of women who get pregnant from doing yoga. Yes. It was shocking for me how many people, and another thing is very shocking for me, how stressful and upsetting it is for women who are trying to get pregnant. Yes. Who can't, and the whole hormonal craziness of it. It was a big struggle for me, not only trying to get pregnant and dealing with pregnancies around me, but my mental health in general. Um, I had come off all of my medications, and to be able to have an outlet that I can focus both my mind and my body, it's a huge difference even when I was on medication. Did you make a conscious effort that you wanted to come off medication? Yes. Like anxiety, depression medication? Yes. And you just decided you wanted to come off of it? and physical fitness was the way or did you want to do yoga? I wanted to do yoga. I had a experience when I was in college. I took a yoga class and I enjoyed it, but I had never taken a class since other than like YouTube videos. Mm -hmm. So to actually come in in a setting where I feel like I'm at home mm -hmm. and there's no judgment, it was, it makes all the difference in the world. Oh yeah. 
I mean, it went, and that's what we love here because, you know, I say we have a class for everybody and everybody. Mm -hmm. And uh, because a lot of people think yoga is about, you know, skinny, flexible people, and it's really not. No. It's those of us that, like, care about our mental health and our physical health and, you know, just want to live a long, healthy life, and that's really what we feel is here. So, yes. you know, we're very happy you're part of the Yoga Power family. Thank you. <laughs> So if you're out there and you're like Ashley and you feel like you have weight issues, mental health issues, or you just want to come in and have fun and, you know, have a place to hang out and be with people who are friendly and nice, so just please come down to Yoga Power. We have a great intro offer going. We have a 60-day unlimited class pass for $60, which one of our classes is $20, so that, you know. All you got to do is just to come take more than three classes and you got it. So we invite you to come down to Yoga Power. Next time you feel like you need to do something relaxing or something strenuous like bungee, so please come anytime.